Thank you very much for clicking on this video. It's me again, Anna Jules. How are you A-Team? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing great today. And if you're new here, welcome! I'm Teacher Ada Jules and I post videos every other day. So I hope you consider subscribing and for more updates, please click the notification bell and subscribe button below. Okay, so today's video is sponsored by the amazing people of Class In. Thank you guys! Classin is the next generation interactive online classroom. It is focused on improving the quality of online teaching. It's not designed for video conferencing like Skype, Messenger, or Zoom, but it's mainly designed for online teaching. So I am an online teacher myself, and I also know a lot of teachers who are helping our Filipino kids by giving them free online lessons. And I think that it would be a lot easier and better when it's done in Classin. By the way, Classin is also available in mobile phones, so you can download it by simply going to Google Play Store or your App Store. So this is how it looks. So in class in, you can create lessons or public courses. And they also have class instant messaging page. It's like your class group chat. So in there, you can communicate with your students as the head teacher. So of course, you will be the head teacher. You can mention anyone in the group. You can share or send files. You can send stickers. You can share pictures. You can share pictures and other files and materials and you can also send screenshots, contact files, contact cards and files. And in there, you can also add tasks as your students' homework. So there will be a reminder for them to do their homework and there will also be a deadline. So you can create tasks as their homework in class in. So you can add a lesson here. Just like this one, you can see there the lesson name, the start date and time, and the duration. And for this one, it says 30 minutes. And of course, you can add or you can adjust it up to 55 minutes. You can also record the whole class. You can enter here. Class in has its own calendar, so you're not going to be absent because there will be a reminder and they also have a pop-up reminder before the class. Your student won't be late for your class. When you enter the classroom, you will have to check your devices first if they are really working perfectly. Inside the classroom... So I have my boyfriend here with me. He will be my student. Hi, boyfriend. Hello. <laughs> so, let's explore class in together. In here, this is what we call the stage. We can have a maximum of 16 people on the stage. One will be the teacher and 15 will be the students. This is called the roster. So, don't worry because as a teacher, you can still see and monitor your students if they are still paying attention. You can change the order of the cameras for like 30 seconds, or 10, or 20. So if you have more than 15 students, you can change the rotation of the camera and you can see everyone. This is where you'll see the names of the participants in this classroom. This is the stage indicator. If it's green, that means this student is visible on the stage. But if you click this icon, it will turn red and the student is no longer visible on the stage. If you click it again, the student will be back on stage. Next is the authorize button. From red, it will turn yellow and that means the student can now write anything on the board. Boyfriend, please write anything on the board. Okay. <laughs> Uh, very good! <laughs> <laughs> okay, if the student is authorized, the crown logo will be shown on the top right corner of the student's camera. 
So this is the status of the student's microphone. Green is on and red is on mute. Same goes with the camera. It's green because the student's camera is working properly. We can also see the kind of device the student is using. So my boyfriend is using an Android device. Since Classin is very accessible, they also have a mobile app. A while ago, I gave my boyfriend a reward, so it's showing here that he has one trophy. Let's try to do it again. Two, three, four. Personally, trophies in class in are very encouraging and motivating, especially if the students are young learners. And you can also use it as a way to track the student's participation in class. So if your student wants to participate and they want you to notice them, they can click the hand button. So that's the raise button. So as a teacher, you have the option to remove a student. For example, their devices aren't working properly, so you can also give them time when they can re-enter the room. Remove from classroom forever. <laughs> so this is the chat box inside the room and the students can also utilize the question section where they can send questions. As you can see, there's a cloud-like icon here that's called the cloud disk. So if you click it, you will see authorized resources, the cloud disk, and of course, the library. If you click my cloud disk, you will see all your personal saved files. And if you click the library, you will see there the tutorials and videos as a guide for new users. Below the cloud disk are the teaching tools. First teaching tool is load image. Click that to open and show pictures to the classroom. So this is the image that we chose to show the classroom. By the way, don't worry because the keyboard shortcuts work perfectly fine in class in. So the basic copy and paste work perfectly fine here. So the next tools are load and save blackboard. So whatever you do here in the blackboard, you can save it. And we also have screen sharing, of course. Screen sharing is very important, especially when teaching online. So we have two kinds of screen sharing, the desktop sharing, which is the one-directional screen sharing and the multi-directional screen sharing. However, if you would like to share a video with an audio, you can only do that in one-directional screen sharing. So let's try the one-directional screen sharing. I'm going to share my screen and this is how it looks. So for multi-directional screen sharing, you and the student can both share your screens. But of course, for privacy reasons, you have to ask permission first before you do that. However, it's not available if your student is using an Android device, if your student is not using a laptop or a desktop. Moving on, we also have a timer in the classroom. Let's try to set it up to one minute. So you can use this when doing activities and it alarms when the time is up. Next, Class In also has a dice. So just click that and the dice will roll. And we also have a small blackboard which is only available for students 35 and below. This is very useful because you can use this in whatever forms of text like these. And still for the small blackboard, we also have a drawing board and it looks like this. And this is the responder. Whoever clicks the responder first will get the chance to answer your question. Next in the teaching tool is we also have multiple choices and you can only have a maximum of 8 choices. You can let them begin answering after you set up the correct answers. After that is a text collaboration and it looks like this. It's almost the same with the small blackboard I discussed a while ago. We also have a marker which is the red circle right there. That's the marker. 
Next is the assignment. As a teacher, you can assign tasks or homework to your students. So you can set up the start time and the date when they should finish their homework and pass it to you. You know, I'm just amazed how you can do so much in just a single software. It's like a one-stop <laughs> shop, you know. And of course, slot machine. If your students are not paying attention, if they're not um, participating in your lessons, so you can use this slot machine to choose a student to answer your question. So it will show here the list of names of students. So we also have Apple Mirror. This works for iOS devices. So mirroring. Ching. Last but not the least, we have breakout rooms. If you give them tasks to do, you can group them randomly and that's it. That's our teaching tools. Teacher, teacher, you're so beautiful. Shut up. <clears throat> okay, so that's it for this video. Can hey, I have your number, teacher? <laughs> hey, teacher, I love you. <laughs> By the way, EEO Class In conducts free trainings every Thursdays and Fridays. So, you'll get to meet a lot of teachers there with you. I really like this one because it's useful and very easy to use for teachers and students. If your students are kids, it will be very easy for them to navigate and understand Class In because it's user-friendly. I just wish that the options that we have in mobile phones will be the same as the options that we have in computers. Because if you're using Class In, if you're a teacher, you have to use a laptop or a desktop for you to access everything. Since they have a mobile app, I hope that teachers can also use all the access that they have in the laptop in the mobile phone. Because you know, what if the teacher doesn't have a laptop or a desktop? The teacher only has a phone. So I hope that in the next upgrade of Class In, they will have the same access, the same option in the mobile phone. It's very convenient and it will be more convenient if it's in the mobile phone. That's it for today's video, A-Team. I hope you guys find this video useful and informative. And if you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. You're already here. Might as well subscribe. So if you have any questions, suggestions, or clarifications, or you have requests, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'd be glad to answer them for you. Thank you very much, A-Team. I hope to see you again in my next vlog. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>